All right, so I'm gonna go into the first time I had to stab somebody up. And it wasn't in prison. I don't have prison stories, even though I've been in and out of jail my whole life. I don't have entertaining prison stories from Minnesota, St. Paul, Minneapolis. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, jail was whack as fuck, no action. Like, I, I don't. I don't know violence in prison. I know real violence in the street. So, the reason I'm gonna go into this situation is because it was in the 90s and the victims of it were really not victims. They got dealt with for trying to pull a pistol on me. Um, and they're never gonna come and say anything except for we was dead wrong at the end of the day and this is something the police already know about and never questioned me about because they just know don't don't come and ask me a question about anything unless you got a case and you got them handcuffs because you already know what, what I, I don't play them games which is no point in giving me a heads up on what you're trying to do to me unless you can already do it <laughs> so i was hanging out with a couple of my boys one of them is deceased and uh, they wanted to go to this party, man. And I, I don't really remember wanting to really go much, but a part of me did want to go because I went and I don't get talked into shit I really don't want to do very often. So we went to this party and it was like in the back of this dude's yard in the back of the woods. Like, so... The police couldn't just run up on us and spoil our, our time. So it's like a keg party in the back of this kid's yard, but in the 50 to 100 feet back in the woods from his yard. So we're all back in the woods and there's, there's these dudes that came and somebody knew him, but I didn't know him. And they got to drinking and motherfuckers got drunk. It was some native dudes. Um, so it was a group of them. If anybody knows how natives get down in Minnesota, they'll rat pack the shit out of you. So you gotta be careful, man. So they fucked around, got to drinking, beat the fuck out of somebody. I didn't see it, but I seen what the dude looked like afterwards. And I'm like, okay, these motherfuckers are starting to trip. So I went to one of their, their homies who was cool. And I was like, look, bro, <laughs> you know, like what, what's really the deal? Like, and kind of just let them know you can do for the most part, whatever you want, but just don't be fucking around with the people that you seek with me. So I went back to doing whatever I was doing. And one of these cats, man, who I remember us bumping heads in the beginning of the night and he had like some girls with him and they was looking and you know, he, he got jealous or something and they wasn't nothing to look at, nothing to look at, definitely nothing to die for. So he got all jealous and shit and he was like, yeah, uh, my name is so-and-so, but my homies call me Ghost. You can call me Ghost. And I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, man. So I'm like, okay, I let it slide, but I'm, I'm not really, I'm, he, I'm just on him, man. He just made a move, and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, but you ain't really really make a move. You're just testing the water. So time goes by. Ironically, he's harassing a couple of girls, and they get scared and kind of run over to me like, oh, so-and-so's bothering me and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, uh, who, him? And I'm like, oh, so, you know, I'm kind of an asshole all the time. I give them a proper introduction. Okay? Instead of getting in your way, you're already a hater. Instead of getting in your way, I give you a proper introduction. Yeah, this is so-and-so, so-and-so. I ride out and let it be their problem. But, of course, dude's out of line, so I forgot what the next move was. He hit somebody over the head with a, with a log. Mind you, there was like a bonfire going. So he hit somebody over the head with a fucking log. And like knocked his tooth out and really fucked him up. And I'm like, oh, wow. 
So I'm like, I come straight to him like, look, I don't give a fuck what you do, but you don't fuck with nobody that's right here with me. Now, the first time I would let his homie know that, his older homie, he was already drunk. They was probably already drunk when they showed up. So dude looks at me and he says, I'll kill you and your whole crew and reaches behind his back for a pistol. <laughs>